Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my first play-by-play -play study where basically I kind of give you a rundown of how I play certain roles in a certain style. I give you a commentary through every single action and thought process just so you get an idea of how exactly you can pull off some of the techniques and tips and whatnot that I uh, talk about in my more scripted videos like my first one there about playing better as Mafia. Uh, this is not Mafia though, this is a specific case of Villager because I see so many people every single game in pubs complaining about getting Villager as if it's a bad role. And it's really really not, it's a really good role. Uh, you have so much you can do without worrying about getting condemned because you, you're, you're a Villager, right? You're basically, you don't have to worry about losing your power roll ability for being too aggressive. Um, so you're taking a lot of the heat off the actual power rolls. And of course, you know, a lot of Mafia will think, well, power rolls in town are more likely to coast. But if you're a good player, if you're a good villager and you're pushing people hard and you're actually finding all the scum and you're outing them and you just immaculate town play, uh, that more or less, first of all, you're actually dangerous because you're finding them. And second, you're a town confirm at that point, even if you like, you're not lambed or something like that. So they want to kill the confirms, not just because you are, of course, confirmed, but also because like you're actually just killing them, right? You're taking so much heat off power rolls, and that's what makes villagers so good. Of course, it takes a lot of experience uh, to get this good, but I mean, that's what practice is, that's what thoughtful uh, play and analyzing your own games is. Now, first I just want to point out on the right side here, you can see I've written down Parody Cop, Night 1, Night 2, uh, Auditor, Night 1, Night 2, just in case I'm super con um, convinced that someone's uh, not town, that someone is scum, I can make up some notes that kind of lead a town band bandwagon onto them, or, or if I feel like there's going to be no town bandwagon, and this is a lot riskier, uh, you can basically gauge how people vote. Like if you're framing a town member, like you're not sure of their mafia or you do know that they're town, but you want to incriminate them anyway, you can fake some notes, making them look like mafia, and then see if any mafia take the bait. And then you can immediately come up and say like, I retract. Uh, but that's super risky. You have to be super quick on that. So I would recommend not doing that as a newer player. Uh, that said, uh, before we get into the game here, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing here. I just want to quickly point out that this is not my music in the background. I, I did not ask permission to use it, so hopefully I don't get like robot DMC8 or anything. Um, this is by a artist named uh, Ujiko or Snail's House, as they're more commonly known. But this is like their more chill out stuff that I thought would be really good as a background uh, track. I just really I hate listening to silence when I'm doing this stuff, so I actually had this on in the background when I was playing. Uh, you should go check them out. I'm going to post a link to the Bandcamp in the in below. I love this album so much. Uh, now that all said, so the, basically the way I started out this day is I posted frame one. I said, uh, guys, Emerald Weapon can't be allowed to terrorize the seas. We must uh, condemn them. We must take them out. Uh, basically frame one because just to make it look like I'm a meme or I'm tunneling or both or basically um, the idea here is I do that. I immediately vote for them. And if anyone picks up on that, like if anyone starts picking up on that bandwagon, I can kind of go off that, get information right off that, right off the bat. If no one goes off of that, like what happened here, everyone kind of like was looking for the third F meta, basically the, fir the third person to press uh, type F, um, you go after them because, you know, easy coasters and it's easy to find them like buckling under pressure and whatnot. Uh, but people did that. They went after, I believe it was a uh, big cube. Uh, he held his ground pretty well in this in regard in day one, like he was a third F and people ended up getting off of him. So basically what I did here, I went the style of playing Guileless Town, or sorry, Guileless Villager. Guileless Town in this case, no one knows who or like what I am yet, but I'm basically tunneling on Emerald here. And you can even see like I'm still going about it. Someone's like, wait, who's very bad? And this, we come back to this later, Vinker, who's very bad? That's kind of a bit of a sus tell to me. Uh, base, just kind of around everything else they say. But I answer them, I say Emerald Weapon, because, you know, I'm keeping up the shtick. Um, and at the same time as this happens, the understudy, who just got a gun, night one from the arms dealer, who just said, I'm just going to blindly give out a gun. The understudy shoots the bomb. Because the bomb basically said, they jokingly memed, I'm Mafia, and they immediately retracted. But someone picked up on that and they said, um, after... The understudy said, I got a gun. Someone's like, shoot this person, shoot Wither. Why? Because they said they're Mafia. So 
he just without even asking for an rr without reading that like without considering like why would they admit their mafia knowing that they're not on their mafia team they shot them so that's kind of dumb <laughs> but it happens you're gonna see you're actually gonna see stuff like this in your pub games uh, and this doesn't play into my own place here, um, just so you know. And we also get a second, we get a second Mafia this day one. Uh, basically, the auditor realizes, oh, the arms dealer gun is out of the game. For I don't have to worry about getting shot by them. The arms dealer gun is gone. Uh, he goes, okay, fuck it, I'm going to come out. We can get two Mafia out of the way right away. So he comes out and he says, guys, I found the hitman. It's Cynthia, because he saw like Cynthia had a gun or had an item. Now, I don't think, in this case, I think you can actually find out that um, the Bulletproof has a vest. Like, I think if you check the Bulletproof, it'll say they have a vest. He didn't probably know that, so that's fine. He found the Hitman. He decided, well, they're real. Um, and the Hitman didn't claim Bulletproof or anything, so it ended up working out. Town locks out. Now, during day one, uh, the arms dealer just said, he, uh, I think it was Big Q. Uh, he goes... I got, I'm, who wants a gun? Who wants a gun? And it ends up like not getting him killed because I guess maybe Mafia, despite the fact that the understudy shot the bomb, the rest of the Mafia, I guess, thought maybe it was a bait. Like he's not actually an arms dealer. He's just kind of baiting for a kill in the night. So um, I told him, I'm like, you have to give me a gun. Give me a gun so I can remove Emerald Weapon from this town because they're going to kill us all if you don't. Um, and I guess I was like reading his town so he gives me a gun, which I didn't expect. I wasn't actually expecting that. So that's actually like that works into my favor in day two here. So we're going to see how that plays, plays out. So I go, hello, Mr. Cube. And I'm like going in on Mr. Cube here because I want to see if like I can get people kind of like tunneling on him because I know he's like obviously he's town, right? In this case, like there's no way that the uh, actual arms dealer is not Big Cube and someone else giving me a gun and not coming out against Big Cube. That's in my mind anyway. The dumb stuff happens, but in this case, it's more likely Oakham's Razor. It's probably Big Cube. So I like start quote unquote going him. Uh, Big Cube. Uh, let me just read my stuff here. What do you think of Emerald Weapon? Because I got to like play up the shtick, right? Like I'm telling hard on this guy. I've got no, no bearing going on this. But in the background, I'm actually like reading everything. Like uh, you'll see it. I take moments to go back and like read people's logs, check up on people. And right now I'm kind of sussing uh, Vanker here. Um, you'll see I like start uh, talking to him later on. Uh, but yeah, here uh, I, I kind of like uh, my idea here is like Big Cube is kind of just commentating on things that have happened in the game. So despite the fact that he kind of comes out to me at least um, as the arms dealer and he did kind of come out technically. He softed it at least, quote unquote, softed it in day one. He looks kind of weird, like he's just kind of blending, right? Like, uh, these things happened today. These things happened yesterday. These are the roles that are still alive. I'm like, that looks sus, so I'm gonna grow. Um, no one picks up on it, unfortunately. Like, no one's actually like going in on him. So I'm just kind of like looking for things to try and incriminate him more. Um, I pick up like, yeah, you know, he's not actually that bad. Like I can't really, you know, make people jump on him. Um, he was a bit slow to vote on the bandwagon on the Cynthia, like the the hitman when she was getting voted out. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just let's. I think I'm good enough here. I see this speaks banana. I'm like, I I think we're good here. We're good. Let's let's get this scum out of here. Let's get this mother. So um, yeah, I start looking at him. And uh, this is, I believe, this is where I start like actually talking to Banker, or I start like typing his name. So I, I ask you, I'm like, Mr. Cube, I am curious who you sus. I'm still playing the big dumb, like, you know, abbreviating my words, misspelling Vanker as I start to talk about him soon. Um, and uh, the reason I say, uh, well, we're talking about Guileless Villager, or as I like to call it, Insidious Villager, because I'm actually playing insidiously, like, the Mafia don't want it. They think I'm dumb. They don't want to take me out. They think I'm not helping town. Um, no, I'm reading it. I'm going to come out soon and help everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing other villager playthroughs like this with different styles. So just while this whole slow bit is going on in the game right now, that's why I'm saying like, this is a very specific style I'm doing. Um, most of the time when I'm villager, what I like to do is I like to go hard from day one. And I like to quote-unquote blow my load as, a, as a, they might say 
I like to blow my load in day one. I like to go, go hard, get all the susses out ASAP. And I usually die night two, but like I'll usually start the trail, like the mafia trail. Like I get so much data pushed out in day one and day two, and then I die because I'm so useful for down. And I'll show you that in my next villager video. But for this, no, this is it. Like I'm in a good place here. I've got a gun. I'm like, okay, let's do this. Lavos, just R. I'm like, okay, no, we gotta get this guy out of here. Like, that's confirmed scam right there. Like, why is he why is he pushing Lavos? So, no, you will get off Lavos. Mr. Water Wraith. Do you know how I know that you're scum? And the reason I'm doing this is because I I think he's like, he's a bit scummy to me. But I just it's more data. Like I just wanna see what people do. I wanna see what Vanker does. I wanna see if people like Vanker's um, teammate, his last teammate remaining, tries to deflect off of this or like go into this. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? And Vanker says, well, they're going to die anyway. No doctor, right? Like, eh, no. Mm. Just like everything about this is just like, I don't know. He's trying too hard to me, right? Trying too hard to push like someone who's not really that scummy. He's and he's latching on to someone who seems scum from another person's push, but it's not really like that heavy of a sus, right? So here we go. Vanker, Miss Vol's name. RNL, please. For me. I know you really love me, Vanker. So RR. And he just seizes up here. Like, I I don't know. I, he was like doing his best to blend. Like, he was trying. He was being active in town. Like, he seems pretty scum to me. Just based on the fact that he's like kind of just blending and then just, you know, pushing the town like the people that other people have kind of sussed but they're not actually scummy they're not playing scummy so like why are you sussing them so uh yeah he just seizes up he doesn't really respond to me and then lavas is like is ray holding a gun because if not i don't know if he's commanding rr is left right and center I'm like let me check and i just fucking blow his head off yes i am holding a gun so that's what i'm doing here um i'm still kind of like uh, yeah, it's tonight, basically, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to die tonight. So we're going to go to uh, day three. And I'm going to have more sus to work off of. So my sus is going forward right now. Our uh, Water Wraith is still kind of sus to me. And uh, Devil Jeho. Unfortunately, uh, that doesn't go very far, you'll see. But I think like... This is all we need. Like this shows like you can actually like even when you're not like even when you're not being paid attention to in day one. Because and I don't know what it is like. People think that you you'll see rhetoric that you need to be useful, like quote unquote, useful in day one. As if having a power roll makes you immediately useful in day one. Like that's not true at all. You're gonna like there's gonna be a lot of times where you don't save anyone as medic. You don't get any information as a power roll. You'll get a non-sided uh, as a cop. And I mean, that's good data later on. Like nine-sided, if you live to day three or day four or longer, you can post your notes and that just proves people, like I've got this non-sided person, their town. In most setups, you would assume a non-sided is town, right? But yeah, like it's it's not true at all. Like you can be villager, you can scum hunt. Everyone can scum hunt the same, no matter what role you have. You luck in to any data, like any like red check data that you get on night one or for day one, you've lucked into that as a power roll. So I don't know why you think that you, having a power roll makes you better or like makes you stronger. You are scum hunting all the same on day one. And going forward, you've got that data. You go into day two, scum hunting even better because you can like you have so much room to move you can move any which way you want you can play any way you want and you can try and bait and get killed if you want or you can play like i played you can play any other number of ways uh going into day two that you want and like to not get killed in the night so yeah like i've got a gun again and i'm i've been saved again right like i've been saved i'm okay like let's go <laughs> everyone trusts me i'm town i've clearly like shown I can scum hunt so the AD gives me a gun because he's somehow still alive um, and here emerald weapon comes out as BP and I just did double check it like I forced it on like real quick does anyone CC BP 
because that way like real BP could come out um, I'm, ma I'm giving them that opportunity now or I'm outing the clown here like because the clown their only opportunity is to fake claim uh, bulletproof and I say that just to make sure, like I say, okay, because Emerald is claiming BP and I, I'm not going to lie, I really want to kill him is what I say. I don't, I was off on Monday too. But this makes people like hopefully confident to come out and like, okay, this is my only time I can come out. Things are looking bad for my team. I have to, right? Because it's literally only one left. Um, they don't take the bait, thankfully, because they're like, they know that's the things are, everything's stacked against them. They don't want to take that risk. So they don't take the bait. Uh, Regine says, Deadwing, I swear to God, if this, this is that JD, blah, blah, blah. People start talking about Deadwing because they want to see, like, they're looking for me, right? Because they want to kill me, and they're trying to see if I'm Deadwing. Uh, but yeah, we're basically going to be ending pretty much here. I'm, I am, like, I'm not sure of who's who. So I go into the notes, I go into the logs, I start log hunting, and here's where I made a mistake. I should have said don't vote because everyone wanted to go into this zero guy because he was a town guy, he was a villager guy who would later say like, oh villager, I don't know what to do. I think he said that actually in the game, like I'm villager, I don't know what to do. So I gave up. He literally in the game said I gave up. Uh, and this is the reason why, yeah, I made this video because no, this is not true at all. Uh, but yeah, I should, should have said like, I'm pretty much, I'm on the cusp of finding this, finding this last guy. I'm pretty sure it's Devil Joho here. I go back in the logs to look at Water Wraith just to make sure it's not Water Wraith because I was still kind of sus on him, but I conclude, hey, it's Devil Joho. But I n neglected to say don't vote so that I can actually have the time to do this. And now I'm going to die overnight. Uh, granted, we still win. They figured out it's pretty clearly Devil Joho at this point or Devil Joho or however you say it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is what you can do. This is the power you have. If you are if you get good at reading who's town and who's mafia, and you pick up on the patterns, uh, how the mafia are going to try and look town while being mafia, uh, if you push enough in day one and day two, in day one, you can actually do a surprising amount. You can like, at least you can do enough there in day one that you can go back and reference it. There's so much data there because the Mafia are trying to look town, but when they're pushed into a corner with like certain plays you make, there's only so much they can do without incriminating their own Mafia or uh, just generally looking sus, right? Like, if they want to look town, they can only do that by having the Mafia. If you're going in on the Mafia, well, they don't want to kill their own Mafia, so they're in a bit of a pickle in terms of what they're willing to do. Uh, and at the very least, if you can't do that in day one, like there's a bunch of data you can compare against the later days. So yeah, going forward, like, hey, look, at the very least, you're not getting condemned. And you've got a bunch of data that you're trying to gather from the first day or the second day, etc. So that's that. That's Gaulus, uh, Gaulus villager style. Uh, that's one of the things I like to do um, to just kind of coast as it were. Like, not really coasting, but as far as the mafia is concerned, concerned like you're just kind of a shitty town which is not true and yeah like I said going forward I'm going to be doing different styles of different roles uh, in this uh, kind of commentary style this is a commentary over a pre-recorded game video which ended up not working well like I was trying to keep up with the video feed and uh, I missed some of the details so next time I'm gonna try and probably do commentary during live gameplay it's really hard because I'm terrible multitasking conversations which I'll be doing like three at a time if you include me doing the talking and the mic at the same time but we'll see how it goes uh, let me know if you have any tips or if you have any questions I am willing to answer any sort of question in the comments below about this particular game or any future games uh, in that videos comments I'll just clarify anything you need to know so see you next time